Hi, I'm Gigi. And I'm Jeff. And we're Living Simply. Today we're going to do a mango tree pruning and show you our harvest this year in 2021. And we were away for most of the time that the mangoes were growing, so there were a few problems that affected the harvest, but we feel like we did a pretty good job with it overall. Yep, we did. What are you going to show us, Jeff? Well, we're going, going to uh, prune back some of the big branches that are kind of growing wild. Those are the ones that they suck a lot of energy out of the tree. This morning when I came out early, I noticed a one mango on the ground and some critter managed to get under this net somehow or other. It was a little spot that he got underneath there and he ate one of the mangoes. So they're ripe, they're ready to be eaten. So today we're gonna to pull the net off, cut the rest of the mangoes off, so trim back the mango, prune it back the way it should be done so that next year it'll make even more mangoes. Okay, so we're gonna take the net off yeah. and then we're going to trim the tree. Yes. All right, bye Ben. These stems you can see are the new growth, and that had a mango on it, the one we've already picked. It. These you have to take off, otherwise next year it will not grow another mango in that same spot. So these are gonna come off. We're gonna prune it later, but right now we're just gonna take, there's another spot where there was another mango. We're just gonna take all the good mangoes off the tree, and then we can do the uh, pruning at another time. Now we leave the part of the stem on simply because if you break it off right at the mango, the juice will start coming out and it's real uh, uh, sticky. This is last year's stem that, the, that it grew a mango. And because it was up on the top of the tree, we didn't take it off. So it tried to grow them, but as you can see, there's a slight difference in size. So you can see what happens if you don't pull this off. This is just kind of a freak and it's obviously no good. So this year we're gonna prune it back, trim it properly, and hopefully next year we'll have a bigger crop. This year I think we've got maybe 20 to 25 mangoes off it. Two dozen maybe, something like that. Yeah, They're, so. and they've been delicious. It's a very small tree as you can see. Yeah. It's not a huge tree. We're gonna keep it that way so it makes it easier to pick. And I've got something dive bomber here that's trying to chew my ear off. But anyway, <laughs> it's always an adventure. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to show us, uh, explain to us on what we should trim back. This side here is just getting too close to the to yeah. the cage, so we don't have adequate room. So, but all of these where there was a mango that grew last year, they all have to come off. Okay, all of these. This had a mango on it. It's probably the one of the ones we picked over the last week or so, or whatever. These all, this all has to come off. This will eventually die back. But if you don't take it off the tree, it won't grow another another mango there. So basically we've trimmed back the tree so that we can get through the door here and a pathway through it. And we trimmed the back side of it. Now we're just getting the suckers and the inside to get airflow and better production. Right. This bottom there looks a little low to me. Um, the, the one that's coming down. I think I would trim the one that's coming down right there. Well, we're going to trim all these all these dead ones because all they do is is rob life from the rest of the tree. Exactly. They, they're just trying to survive, and they serve no purpose. They usually don't won't have a fruit on them. So. No, and they block the airflow, and yes. that's how you get and diseases. Like that little one too to the left there is that this one. one right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that is a much better pattern for the bottom of the tree much better and as you can see right here you see all robbing the life from the main branch 
Right. So in order for the main branch to get more of what it needs to make a fruit, we get rid of all these little ones. They don't, they serve no purpose. They block the light, they block the air, and mango trees like air and sunshine. Yep, very good. So this is the new growth that already started, which is why we are now- You can see this here. Right, and, and that's why we're trimming it now before. It will give it a longer season to produce more of the new leaves and so forth. The best time to prune a mango tree is after you've picked all the fruit and before all the new growth starts. You can tell by the color, these, this is all new growth right here. Right. So if you want to cut that back, now's the time to do it. As you right. can see here, this is a perfect example of how to prune. We want, we want the branches to come up, not come down. So this would be a good uh, branch to prune off and let the life go up into the ones that are coming up. So we'll cut it right there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you could help me out, I really am trying to add to my subscribers. So if you know someone who would enjoy this video or videos like this, then could you please share our video with them in the hopes that they'll subscribe as well. So thank you so much for all of your support and we hope you have a great day. Ciao for now. Ciao, ciao.